Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you guys a Q&A. Let's be honest, sometimes it's hard to think of video ideas and I really just felt like sitting down and chatting one on one with you guys. I popped over to Instagram and asked you guys to ask me some questions. So if you want to be a part of future Q&As, I will leave my Instagram linked down below and also on the screen. Be sure to follow me on there or Twitter because that's usually where I ask for you guys to ask me questions. But yeah, you guys have some juicy ones today. So if you guys want to hear my answers, then please keep watching. So the first one comes from my gal, Crystal, and she said, What's the most important thing you've learned in the past five years that you wish you could tell your past self now? Well, I feel like I'm 80 years old because five years ago seems like a really long time ago. <laughs> but, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I think the biggest thing I've learned over the past five years is to just be more positive and see the light at the end of the tunnel in any situation. I'm one of those people that, I mean, even though I say I'm super positive, sometimes I can be a little bit of a negative Nancy because I don't like to be naive to certain situations. I don't know. I'm very positive, but then I also have a but da -da 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 -da, every time I say something positive because I just, I don't want to be caught off guard, you know? <laughs> But I definitely think I am getting better at just being positive and letting life just happen. So I think the biggest thing that I've learned and wish I could go back and tell my younger self is to just go with the flow and take each day as it comes. The next question comes from Talia underscore X and she said, I'd love to know your travel goals now that you've done your dream America trip. Oh, well, I wish I could afford to travel, but currently right now I cannot really afford to travel because... I don't have a job, but we'll get into that later. So yeah, we don't have any super big travel plans. I really wanted to go to New Zealand like next month because if you guys are new here or if you don't know, my dad and my sister and my stepmom and my grandparents and basically my entire dad side of the family live in New Zealand and I haven't seen them since June last year or July last year so I really miss them and I really want to see them so badly but I can't really like I can't afford to travel but because I don't have a job I'm just scared that if I was to go to New Zealand I'd get back and then like who knows how long it would be until I found a job and then all my savings could be gone so basically I'd love to go to New Zealand and I'd also really love to go to Hong Kong because my best friend lives there and she's lived there for the past three years and I still haven't gone to visit so I'd really love to go to Hong Kong and then just go on like cute little vacays with Andy. We were going to go to Europe this year, but we thought buying a house was a little bit more important. So we might do Europe in 2019. So I don't know. Hopefully I'll find a job soon though so that I can afford to travel. <laughs> Emma underscore H underscore 15 said, if you could only use one social media app, what would it be and why? That is a tough one because I love both Instagram and YouTube for completely different reasons. I love Instagram because I just feel like it's a bit more personal, even though my YouTube account is very personal. I just love just like writing my long captions and I love like Insta story because then you guys can see like day by day what I'm up to. And then I love YouTube because I just feel like it's more personal. I love sitting down and talking to the camera or doing like daily vlogs. And I love that I can look back on those vlogs in the future. But YouTube is silly and it doesn't show up videos on people's subscription feeds half the time anymore. So please do me a solid and press the little bell button next to the subscribe button. I know it's really annoying. You probably hear that every single video from every YouTuber ever. But it's just the algorithm is playing up and people's videos just aren't getting as many views or anything because it's not showing up in their subscription feeds. So please, please, please hit the bell button so that you guys will be notified when I post a new video. But to answer your question, YouTube. You guys are the real MVPs. Chantelle Carr asked one wish and you can't ask for any more. That is another tough question. One wish in my whole life. I think, oh, oh, I don't know. I think my biggest wish is to find a job that I can be happy in because that has been my biggest struggle, like, my entire life. So I think that would honestly be my biggest wish. Like, I just want to be happy, and I feel like having a job that makes me happy will in turn make the rest of my life a lot more joyous. So yeah. I also wish that I could have a baby, because I love babies. And I'm kind of scared that when I want to have a baby, it may not happen. So. Uh, Katie Ho said, give us the tea on your last job that you just left. Ugh. 
Oh guys, where do I start? Alright, so if you guys haven't been following me on Instagram, then you probably have no idea what's been going on for the past like month in my life. But basically, when me and Andy bought our house, we couldn't afford to live like in Melbourne because it's so expensive. So we live like an hour out of Melbourne, but my job is in the city. So it took three and a half hours every single day to travel to my job in the city. And after six months of doing that, I just like couldn't do it anymore basically. It was insane. So even though I worked there for two years and quite enjoyed it, I mean, sometimes, <laughs> um, I decided to look for a job closer by to my home and I found that job and I got that job. But then after three weeks, it just like blew up in my face basically. So here's the little rundown. The boss was not a very nice person. I couldn't tell in the interview because he was very nice to me, but after like a week of working there, I literally hated it and was like, oh my god, I cannot work here, like I hate it. So after that week of working there, he basically told me that it was a two week trial, which is really stupid because I wouldn't have quit my job of nearly two years for a two week trial job kind of thing, you know? So I was a little bit annoyed at that, and then after the two week trial, he didn't even say anything to me, so I was the one to go up to him and be like, how am I going, do you think I'll stay on, blah 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 blah. And to my face, he was like, yeah, you're really good and I think you will pick it up soon enough and that kind of thing and we'd love to keep you on and just see how we go, like, week by week kind of thing. And then later that night, at like 10pm, I get a text message saying, actually, no, next week is your last week and we can't give you any more shifts after that. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> I spoke to him that morning, face to face. And he told me, everything is all G and we're going to keep you on. And then later that night, after literally nothing happened, he told me, like, he won't keep me on. So, I'm a bit annoyed about the whole situation and how it went down. Also, his wife just happened to be away for three weeks on her holiday while I worked there. And then she got back when he got rid of me. So, I don't know if that's a quinky dink or not. But, either way, I did hate working there. So, I'm kind of glad tomorrow's my last shift. But it also just means I'm, an, I'm unemployed. So fingers crossed for me that I find a job ASAP because I cannot afford a mortgage on no income. <laughs> and she also said, do you have any plans on looking for another job and would you do YouTube full time? Girl, I would love to do YouTube full time. If only you didn't need like half a million subscribers to do that, I would literally hands down do YouTube in a second. But unfortunately, it doesn't pay nearly enough to ever be a job for me. So. Yes, I have been looking for a job. I've been looking like the whole month because as I just said, even in that job that I worked for three weeks, I hated it the whole entire time. So I was still applying for jobs um, every afternoon and that kind of thing. So hopefully something pops up soon. I actually had an interview this morning and I have a trial on the weekend, but I don't know how it will turn out. So please keep your fingers crossed because your girl need laugh. Be asked, what's it like living with a boyfriend? Living with a boyfriend is amazing. I guess it depends on your own relationship, but living with Andy, like, he is a gem. He pretty much does all of the cleaning and all of the cooking, and he just never complains about it. Like, he never is like, Brittany, do your load of the washing or do your load of the dishes. He just does everything because he's a little bit of a clean freak. Again, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably see the randomest videos. Like, he is constantly, like, washing our windows and things like that, so... Yeah, but I do love living with him because he keeps his house clean and in order and he never complains and yeah. It's funny too because my mum always gives him shit like, Andy, you need to make Brittany do our own dishes and things like that because that's the way I was brought up. Like ever since I was a little kid, me and my brother would always have to do the dishes and the washing at home because my mum just wanted to teach us stuff. And now that I live with Andy and he does it all for me, my mum is literally like slapping Andy on the wrist like, make her do her own shit. <laughs> But yeah, he is a great little boyfriend to live with. Shitty underscore dinners, which is my friend Nana, who I went to university with, said, I have a question for your vid. Where do you buy most of your clothes? They're all fab. Well, I don't know what clothes you've been seeing because I literally have the worst fashion sense and I've been wearing the same clothes for like 10 years straight. But I pretty much get them from like Cotton On, Factory, Dotty sometimes, The Op Shop, hand-me-downs from my friend Laura. She always gives me clothes. Thanks, gal. And, um, I don't know. I feel like that's about it. Do not have any nice clothes, but thank you. <laughs> so this question comes from my friend Allie, and she asks, do you think you guys will get another pet in the future? We would love to get another pet, another little kitten for Oreo, because 
I mean, I don't have a job right now, but when I did have a job, we were basically out of the house all day and we just feel really bad that Oreo doesn't have a friend to play with. But then also we feel bad because we only have a two bedroom apartment. So I feel like if we have two full grown cats, it's just not a lot of space for them. But I don't know. I think once I get a steady income again, we definitely will get another kitten because we love Oreo to bits and we cannot wait to get him another little friend. So I definitely think in the next couple of months, we'll probably get another cat. <laughs> Although Andy really wants a rabbit and a turtle. So who knows what we'll end up with. And the last question comes from Samantha Melanie and she said, My question is, how are you? I know you've had a rough few weeks. I hope things look up for you soon. That is so sweet for you to ask. Thank you. Um, I'm okay to answer that question. I'm not great, but I'm not crap either. So I feel like I'm a good in-between. I have a lot of like moments in my day where I wake up like super positive and happy and ready to start the day. And then there'll be a moment where I'm like, oh my god, I'm such a failure, I have no income, blah blah blah. And then like towards the end of the day when Andy gets home, I'm back to being just like happy and stuff. So I'm definitely like a mixed bag of emotions right now, but I'm trying my best to stay as happy and positive as I can and doing things that make me happy. That actually makes me feel just like really happy inside that you asked. So thank you for asking that and I hope you're also doing okay. So that question ends this q and I've been talking for 18 minutes now, so I've got to cut this video down because otherwise it would be very boring. But if you guys did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Please also don't forget to hit subscribe if you are new to my channel because I'd love you guys to join our family. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!